In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an animated stopwatch with five options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. As you can see here, I have created this stopwatch completely in PowerPoint. And how it works is when I click it, the needle moves and then the option comes. So let me just show you when I click, you can see here the needle moves from the 12 to 2 and then the option one comes along with the icon and the detailed text. And when I click, the needle moves to the point four and then the option two comes. Then the hour six, you can see here the option three, option four and option five. Likewise, I have created one more slide where the needle moves slowly. You can see here as if it's like a real watch. So something like this, uh, you can also do it and then you can adjust the speed and the animation effect according to your requirement. And you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and you can support my channel by watching the advertisement shown on my video for 30 seconds or clicking the advertiser link or if you want you can donate it through directly on my a PayPal account or the Patreon account. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to select the circle hollow. Draw the circle hollow by holding the shift key. You can see here. Then shape outline, make it no outline. And depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the width of this hollow circle then go to align center align middle now i'm going to cut this into six part and one part i'm just going to delete it so for that i'm going to insert shapes and scroll it down and i'm going to take this uh, six point star so that uh, i know from which direction or from which uh, point i need to delete it so let me just again make this star by holding the shift key and let me just give some different color shape outline make it no outline and you can see the small orange point just drag this inside something like this and then align center align middle so you can see here i need to cut from these uh, positions then what i need to do is go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some different color to differentiate and I'm just going to make the height the width as point 0 0.03 okay and then again this also aligns center align middle then I'm going to duplicate this press ctrl D to duplicate again align center align middle and hold the alt key and just press the alt and the right arrow key you can see here somewhat it is not uh, positioned it properly so in that case i can just use it manually and put it here again press ctrl d to duplicate one more it has been created you don't see but it has been created then again alt and then i'm going to just rotate it again place it exactly here and you can see here so we have created one two and three so three lines i have created then what i need to do is i need to just delete this star now so just let me just select this time being and then I'm just going to select this star and I'll move it. I'm going to use for my uh, later use and again this one again align center align middle. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this circle and this uh, three rectangles and then go to merge shape and then you can just simply say fragment. So you end up getting a shape something like this and then start deleting this one all the unwanted objects i'm just going to delete it you can see here just select highlight and delete okay and this also i'm just deleting all right and then what i'm going to do is inside also i'm just going to highlight this and delete it you can see here this also i'm just deleting it let me just select this and last i'm going to select this and this portion i'm just going to delete it and then i can give some different colors depending on my requirement so i can go to shape format and i can just start giving my own colors here or any color of your choice you can choose so you can see here i started giving these colors some different color combinations all right and these are the colors i have given so depending on your requirement you can give any color of your choice 
so in the center i'm going to design the stopwatch and before that if you want to increase the size what you can do is you can just select all and press ctrl g to group it and again hold the ctrl and shift together and you can increase the size something like this if you want to increase okay now and let me just ungroup this and then uh, what i want to do is i want to put uh, the arrow header here for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select a triangle draw a triangle okay shape outline no outline and and i'm just going to rotate it and then i'm just going to place it here let me just go to the shape format and i'm going to make it somewhat transparent so exactly you know where we are placing let me just change to some dark color all right and you can see here i'm just going to place it here reduce the size a little bit okay and then using this arrow i'm going to place it exactly in the center something like this and then press ctrl d to duplicate and again rotate with the help of this arrow key and place it exactly in the center of this again ctrl d i'm going to rotate it again this time it has to be straight and then i'm just going to paste it here press ctrl d again rotate it and i'm just going to put it here make sure that it is properly aligned all right something like this and then i'm going to add one for the last option and again rotate it and then i'm just going to put it here you can see something like this and if you want further you can straight it okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this and this hold the shift key and merge it okay union it again select this and this union it again i'm selecting both of this make it union so it's getting the same color you can see here again union it and this and this i'm going to make it union so let me just select this now i'm just going to bring to front you can see here now i'm going to select this we have to select one by one and bring to front and this one bring to front and again this one bring to front and then the last one i'm going to bring to front and if you want you can just give some shadow effects then i'm going to add the stopwatch in the center for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select a uh, oval shape first hold the shift key so that you get a perfect straight or circle then shape outline make it no outline and align center align middle and i'm going to increase further by holding the control and shift key together let me just put it maybe this much size i think this is okay shape fill let me just give, give some uh, light gray color and later on i can just change it and to give some uh, the dial effect i'm going to use some circle hollow again go to shapes i'm going to select the circle hollow draw the circle hollow again by holding the shift key you can see here and just reduce the width all right shape outline make it no outline and then go to the effects and a 3d format i'm going to use any of this one maybe i can use maybe this and i'm going to just change the color uh, to some gradient fill i'm just going to select this and one color i'm going to make it maybe white and then one i'm going to make it somewhat dark color or a gray color again this one i can make it more lighter color and this color also i can make it white so uh, depending on your requirement you can just change it and direction any direction you can choose and then align center align middle so it is somewhat bigger what i can do is again hold the control shift key together and i'm going to just reduce the size you can see here something like this and this one i'm going to give maybe a white light color more lighter color or you can give some gradient fill also but i'm going to use the type as radial and direction from the center and here i'm going to delete this only two stops i'm going to make it okay and the white should be in the center so i'm just going to move this here and something like this and this one has to be more lighter actually okay and move this one here or i can just add one more and somewhat lighter color i can just give okay just to give a dial effect here 
okay and then if you want uh, you can uh, add some shadow effect also for this maybe you can just select some shadow effect and you can use some shadow effect you can see something like this now once you have done this one now it's time to add the more details of the stopwatch like the the needles and then the numbers from 12 to 1 all those things we need to add it here so to add the numbers which is starting from 12 1 till uh, 11 here so what i'm going to do is i'm i can either use this one i can just go to the shape format edit shape change shape and then i can just choose the star which is of 12 points you can see here and then just reduce it again in the center something like this and then i'm going to shape fill with black and again align center align middle and then i can just bring to front again by holding the control shift together i'm just going to reduce the size so that it fits per fit perfectly here inside and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to just keep the outer and the inside part i'm going to delete it so go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key again align center align middle and shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to select the star and then i'm going to select this one merge shape you can see here actually i've not selected the star let me just select the star i hope this is the star no i need to select the star let me just do one thing yeah this is the star and i'm selecting this one and then merge shape you can see here i can just subtract it so i end up getting something like this and then i can go to insert text box and i'm going to press 12 okay and make it bold choose some good font of your choice and put it center align and then i'm just going to type or just paste it here 12 and this one i'm going to just copy it and then later on i can just change this one you can see here let me just put it the next to this line so one by one you can duplicate this and then add it so you can see here this is a time consuming job once but once you complete this one it looks very uh, elegant and very beautiful so let me just change it now to 01 or you can just put 1 2 also 3 also like that maybe you can just put like this also 3 anyway let me just put with 0 you can see here uh, this is 4 5 6 let me just complete this quickly so that's it so you can see here i have added this one now if you want to add some more smaller lines also for the seconds also you can add it so uh, now it's time to add the needles here so to add the needles i'm going to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to select the triangle draw the triangle you can see here maybe this much height and width shape outline make it no outline and shape fill either you can make it black or red or whatever let me just zoom in you can see here it looks something like this and then i'm going to duplicate this and then rotate it i can just make it flip vertical and draw and just put it exactly the bottom of this okay and just make sure that it is properly aligned also and then i'm going to select the bottom part or select both of this Control g to group it and then i'm going to select this one and shape fill make it no fill okay and then bring this one here you can see something like this and if you want to add one more also you can add it but for this time i'm just going to add only one needle and you can just duplicate and add one more also it's not a problem so once you have done this one what we need to do is we need to just add some text here and then just give the some animation effect so 
if you want to keep the text here if you want to keep it outside up to you so whichever way you feel better but let me just uh, show you without the text you can add the text later on by yourself also so what i'm going to do is let me just do some animations so i'm not adding any text as i said you can add it outside or inside wherever you want you can just do it so let me just go to the or let me just show you one text only i'm going to i'm just saying option zero one you can see here and again choose some good font for this okay and then you can go to the shape format and you can see your text effects you can go to the the transformation and i can just select this one the arc you can see here and then i can just according to the requirement i can just put it here rotate it and then let me just put it in the center something like this and then you can just add it so now if you want to more uh, curved you can make it more curved or if you want you can just reduce the size and then you can just add something like this you can see here and make it white if you want you can make it bold so uh, like this you can just simply add for the the rest of the options and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this press ctrl g to group it and then let me just send this to back all right yeah so something like this okay so like this you can just add the options now it's time to animate uh, this one so uh, this needle should come and stop at uh, the the of uh, the this one the two here so that you know this circle or this arrow it's completing here so likewise this has to come at stop at four uh, six eight ten like that okay so let me just go to the animations enable the animation pane and then i'm going to select this let me just remove the guide so that it will be more confusing so here it is more clear let me just select the needle and then animations add animation i'm going to spin it so by default it will spin 360 degrees so what i'm going to do is i'm going to spin only uh, 60 degrees and press enter key don't forget to press the enter key here and then if you want you can make it some bounce end and timings you can make it fast or medium it's up to you so it comes something like this you can see here and the same times this also should be animated for that i'm going to use a wipe effect wipe effect i'm going to say from left all right or if you want you can just make it from bottom so maybe left is better okay and this should happen with previous right if i play now you can see here it comes something like this but this is very fast so i can just go to the timings and make it again fast so that it comes the same time let me just see you can see here something like this it will happen all right or if you want you can make it both of very fast also so let me just choose this and make it very fast and this also i'm going to choose and make it uh, very fast and click ok so if i play now yeah it comes you know see you can see it's coming perfectly all right so now i need to just add the animation again add animation again spin double click this again the timings make it very fast the effect again i'm going to make it 60 degrees press enter key increase the bounce and depending on your requirement and click ok all right so and then this one i'm going to select animation painter click on this and this should happen maybe from the the top okay now again let me just so the first time it goes and stop at two and then it stops at four you can see here then let me just show you one more time again i'm going to select add animation spin double click this one make the timings as very fast effect the amount i'm going to make it only 60 degrees press the enter key increase the bounce and click ok and then i'm going to select this animation painter all right and this one may be from right so if i play now the first one stop at the the two and then stops at four then stops at six like that you can just add it for the remaining two also and if you want to add some text you can add the text here
so and if you want to add some more design effect also you can go to insert shapes i'm going to select one you know this is the the timer or you can see the stop where you can just click of a button uh, shape outline make it no outline let me just right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to select the gradient fill the type i'm going to select a linear and one i'm going to select a dark or a black color and i'm going to select this effect and here let me just select somewhat gray color here i want to select more lighter color and here again i want to choose some darker color you can see here and then i can just send this to back all right and let me just move it down somewhat and then again i'm going to duplicate this you can see here and then i can just make it something like this and put it here you can see here and if you want you can make it more darker also for this all right and i can add a few more options also so depending on the requirement you can choose and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate hold the shift key you can see here i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and this much size i'm just going to cut it from here okay and then let me just reduce the size and then exactly the center okay this also should be exactly in the center then what i'm going to do select this one hold the shift key and select this merge shape subtract and then i'm just going to put it here something like this you can see here the design is ready if you want you can add more text more options more arrows it's up to you so this is the simplest way you can add the stopwatch or uh, if you want you can just do it uh, depending on the speed you can adjust it